Okay, let's go ahead and tackle this problem. So to tackle any math problem where there's some sort of uh, symbol or notation, we have to understand what that notation is telling us. So what is this asking us? Well, hopefully you said, oh, this is the absolute value uh, function, and you would be absolutely correct. So the question here is, what is the absolute value of negative 8? And the answer to this is very, very easy. Matter of fact, if you know what the answer is, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'm going to get to this in just one second. But uh, I just want to address this little um, uh, absolute value function, okay, which again, we're going to talk a, uh, quite a bit about absolute value in this video. I'm not going to overdo it, but if you're not quite sure what absolute value is, I'm going to give you a quick explanation. But if you have like the absolute value of 7, you're going to have these two little straight bars like this surrounding a number, but you can't surround like an expression like say 2x plus 1 or an actual equation. Uh, let's say we could make that equal to 3. So this would be an absolute value equation. And we could actually have absolute value inequalities. There's all sorts of stuff we can have with absolute value. But if you're studying algebra, do not um, uh, confuse absolute value with something else. I'm going to go ahead and write uh, an example of that because it does have the same kind of long bars here. So let's say I had 3, 4, 1, and 0. We had two bars around numbers like this. This means something completely different in mathematics. This means find the determinant of a matrix. But the little bars here do look like absolute value bars, but it means something completely different. But again, if you're taking Algebra 1, uh, certainly Algebra 2, College Algebra or whatnot, you're, gonna, you're going to see this notation used in different ways. But right here, all we want to do is find out what the absolute value of negative 8 is. This is a super easy question to answer. So we're going to put that into the comment section. I'm going to give you the answer here in a second. And then we're going to talk about how to find the answer. But more importantly, what does it mean? But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades. And I'm telling you right now, you can be successful in mathematics, but it requires great math instruction, clear, understandable, and comprehensive. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of mathematics, check out my math help program. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. I promise it will help you out big time. Also, if you happen to be preparing for any sort of test with math on it, and I'm talking about things like the SAT, ACT, GED, ASVAB, maybe a teacher certification exam. There's a ton of tests out there that we have to encounter, placement exams, certification exams, entrance exams uh, that have mathematics on it. Anyways, I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, don't forget to check out my award-winning middle and high school math courses for homeschoolers. Hopefully you have your own great awesome math notes. If you do not, you need to improve your math notes such that they are awesome. But in the meantime, you need something to study from. I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video if you want to check those out. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, answer this question. The absolute value of negative 8 is equal to 8. Okay, that is the answer. And it's like super easy. And if you got this right, let's go ahead and still give you a nice little happy face and A plus and a 100 percent. Uh, well, I got to say that correctly, 100 percent for being awesome in math. Now, I can tell you right now, a lot of you are like, uh, oh, yeah, the absolute value of um, a negative number is always positive. Okay, That's a real common way that students think of the absolute value. And that's okay uh, to think of it in, in terms of, because that is correct. Right? So the absolute value of a positive 8, for example, uh, would be the same answer, positive 8. Okay, hopefully you knew that as well. But intuitively, um, a lot of students are like, well, oh, when I see this uh, absolute value function, and that's what this is called, whatever this is, if it's negative, just make it positive, and that's what this thing uh, means. Okay, it means that, hey, make this thing positive. That's what absolute value means. But actually, that's not what it means. Okay, so if you know what the definition of absolute value is, Put that into the comment section, but put it in your own words, okay? We're going to talk about that in just one second, but I want to give you a chance to think about this. What does absolute value mean? Well, let's go to talk about that now. Okay, so what is absolute value? That is the question. Of course, we know that the absolute value of negative 8 is 8, but what is absolute value? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. 
Okay, so the definition of absolute value is the distance, yeah, I'll write this here, uh, right here, it's the distance a number, okay, is from zero on a number line, okay? So we'll just write this like this, but let's go ahead and graphically see this. So if we're asking right here, hey, uh, what's the absolute value negative eight? We're asking how far is negative eight from zero on a number line? So let's go ahead and uh, plot negative eight from zero. So here's negative eight right here. This is a number line, here's zero. So how far is negative eight from zero? Well, we wanna measure this. Think of this if you had a ruler or a tape measure, right? You have a tape measure and it goes out like this, or you have a ruler. So what are the units uh, here that are gonna be on this tape measure or ruler? Well, they're gonna be positive. You're not gonna be like, oh, okay, uh, let's get some new blinds for our window, and this is like negative three, and this is negative two. Well, no, we always measure distance and length uh, and displacement in terms of positive values, generally speaking. But uh, distance here, the way I want you to think about it in terms of absolute value, is positive. So negative eight is eight units away, eight positive units away from zero. Okay, great. How far is eight away from zero? Well, it's also eight units away. It's the same distance. In other words, if I take my tape measure and I go from there to negative eight, it's the same as going from zero to eight. Okay, that's why the absolute value or the distance away uh, from negative eight from zero is eight, and the distance from uh, a positive eight from zero is also eight units away. So this is really the crux of what absolute value is, and you need to understand this because I'm guarantee you that if you're studying absolute value, this type of question is on it, okay? So don't just think of absolute value as, oh, you know, it's this thing in math that turns negative numbers magically into positive numbers. That's not, even though that can get you to the right answer, um, it will cause confusion when you start learning more advanced things uh, about absolute value, like absolute value equations, something like this. Absolute value of two X plus one is equal to five and inequalities, et cetera. This is where you really do need to have a good conceptual understanding of what absolute value is, which of course we just answered the distance a number is from the uh, zero on a number line. Okay, so this was just a quick little video on absolute value. If you need additional help with absolute value, depending on what level you're at, uh, I'll recommend two uh, different, two or three different courses in my math help program. Uh, I also have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel about absolute value, but I teach absolute value in my pre-algebra, algebra one, and uh, even my algebra two college algebra uh, courses as well. So that's some follow on suggestion if you need additional help with absolute value. But hopefully this video helped you out. If that is the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.